Hi. I'm going to try to explain some of your questions uh, now regarding favorites on this uh, sat nav, how to add favorites, how to, uh, I don't know, um, switch the uh, unit on and off, um, how to set your uh, favorite, your current location. As you can see now, um, I'm inside the house, so it's currently looking for GPS signal. My current location is not accurate now. But um, what to do in order to get that done is just to go on the top right corner on this square here. Now you see it's grayed out because I don't have the location acquired. But you need to go to this where am I if you can see it right there. I'm, 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 uh, I'm pointing on it. But it's not going to let me do anything. After you press that you will see another menu with <clears throat> your current location. And from there you can um, <clears throat> you, you can add it to favorites by pressing more so you can have you, you have an alternative way to do that if you don't have signal let's say you I can see the marker where is it on the map just click on the map tap it and you will see this red marker showing up then you can select more and you'll see a new menu and you select add to favorites from here you're gonna add a name whatever you please you can delete all these and um, instead of that default default title you put it let's say my place yeah so select uh, put my place on and then click on done and that's it it's uh, you'll see a star showing up right there it's uh, it's a bit it's not too uh, obvious, but you will, it's, it's, it's a bit more visible when you um, when you have your uh, device in your hands because uh, the quality of this uh, camera I use now is a camera of my phone is not the best. It's a bit grayed out like, but it's uh, like a shadow, but you can still see it. So now, if you uh, you'll have it here permanently, it's saved. If you go again to this square here and then you go to favorite you will see my place and Thor playing which I saved earlier and I'm gonna delete it now to show you from the beginning how it's done so if you click on my place that's, that will show exactly the place you marked on the on the um, uh, on the favorite so that's 22 Thomas Street Pontefract blah 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 and the name of the um, favorite my place now I'm sorry if I'm not too uh, accurate in what I'm saying or uh, if I don't make sense maybe but um, I'm not used to these kind of uh, tutorials like too, too much I'm trying to do um, my best to help you uh, it's the first time when I do it actually so I need to find it in myself the way to explain it properly um, Regarding the clock to show be shown on the sc on screen, uh, this is possible actually. I checked it, but it won't be like it won't be visible um, in the middle of the screen like that. You will see it right here. So if you click on this in the bottom right corner, that will expand, and you will have three features: the time, the current time, speed, current speed, and speed limit for the type of road you are at the moment. You know when you're driving or whatever um, these two won't be shown now because we're not moving this will only be shown when you uh, oh it's got signal now so you see now it, this one show, shows up it's a good thing because I can show you how to uh, the second way to add the favorite uh, is by going here and then where am I United Kingdom and this location click on more and add to favorites I'll leave it uh, with this name or I'll just change it I'll put my place uh, two so they don't overwrite click on done and you will see a second star showing up you got that one the first one is right there 
and this one is here like I said the location is not too accurate now because I'm inside the house um, now you go back to the menu if you want to see your favorites and you go to root options no sorry uh, to destination and when you go to destination now you'll see the favorites they appear here so you enter where it doesn't matter wherever in Europe you are if you save that location you don't have to search for it again you, re you put your own name on the one you desire and if you it's a location that you go there often you select it from the list and that will show up instantly and then you click on go and it will calculate the route for you in within a few seconds you see that on the screen you don't have to enter postcodes and any other things so that's how to save a favorite and you'll find the list with favorites here now regarding regarding finding places by postcode I'm afraid this is not possible at least not at the moment uh, you can only search in places by name looking in a, in a town or around your location that's all you need to know the name of the thing but if you let's say you're looking for a company Tesco and it's not shown in that list but you know the postcode or you can google it you can easily enter it uh, right here find places um, instead of town like I said you will not see the postcode option here click on town and now you will be asked to enter it keep in mind that this needs to be entered by the book with a gap in the middle battery is low so it's I put a random one WF9 space 1 AA it's a totally random uh, postcode is the first one that came in my, in my mind select it uh, apparently this one doesn't have a street name just select the town and that will take you to the middle of the street so even if it has numbers um, but it's not shown on the map <coughs> you can still get to the, that street on that street and from here you can use a bit of common sense and look on the doors to see the numbers it's it's quite easy actually so you enter this postcode let's say it's Tesco's but uh, it's Tesco but it doesn't show up like Tesco in 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 a point of interest well that's not a problem you just go to more add to favorite select uh, rename it pardon and let's say that's a Tesco over there Tesco and now you save it done and from now on you'll have the address and Tesco it's saved under the name of Tesco so you can do that on and on uh, let's say if um, there is report an alert point yeah there is a speed camera that is not shown but you know it, it is a speed camera over there so a report alert point direction of alert speed camera type of alert and whatever you think it is and just save it and that's it from from now on you will you it will appear on the map um that's about saving looking for for a postcode saving a fa uh, an address to favorites again if I go here to favorites I'll see Tesco right there if I click on it without entering any postcode again I'll see on the map I'll click on go this is set on a lorry already so it's always asking you for these values to check them if they're correct click OK calculating the route and that's it there you are you're good to go um, right now, how do you enter multiple lo locations? That's a good point. You know your location. I've entered that Tesco's. Now, if you go here, you can select to this, to this uh, little square. Click on it, then go to Edit Route. And now, you see you got only your current, lo current location and Tesco's. But in, in between them, you have a plus. That means to add... Uh, something else let's say you want to go to Tesco's but before that you need to go to Asda search for that address again I'm gonna use a random postcode let's say WF9 1 A T so let's let's say this is a, that's an Asda postcode it, it is not but we we can pretend that is so you see that's shown on your map it's on your way click on 
more you can save it to favorites as well if you want I'm gonna save it as Asda I hope you can see it Asda click on done and that's it there you have it then you click on next and it's asking you do you would you like to add a uh, waiting time if you want to add waiting time you click on yes depending on how, how long you want or if not you just click on cancel and that's it you have it in between them you see now Asda has appeared as a second uh, uh, address in between the current position of um, where you are and the uh, final destination <coughs> so you can add as many as you want using that plus or you can add one afterwards after you go from Tesco let's say you finish that you want to go to uh, I don't know uh, Lidl yeah so add another postcode WF9 space don't forget about the space zero no it's one a J yeah that's uh, let's say that's a uh, that's a, a little so you add it to favorites if you wish it's not necessary to do that but I'll, I'll do that just to show you what I said earlier about favorites uh, and put little on yeah that's it now you have the little on the map click on next and you, you'll see that um, it should be it should have been there oh yeah now little is changed to the final destination and Tesco is one intermediate one so you can play with this as much as you want actually you can add one before the Asda or in between them you see every plus is placed exactly in between uh, these destinations so you can you can you can play with it let's say that's I'm happy with these that's all I have to do today click on go and it's gonna recalculate the route and it will seem because the postcodes are similar I'm gonna zoom in a bit you can overview the route and you will see oops sorry and you will see that all three locations are shown on the map now it's just the case that these are uh, in the same town because it's similar postcodes but you can see them I just choose them totally random so uh, yeah this one is here one is here and one is there it doesn't really matter you can choose your own your own way to do that and you click on go and now you're good to go you'll see them on the map right there on the progress bar so it's that's the arrow <coughs> the arrow where you are now your position and this progress will uh, you know will be shown is as much the more you drive the more you get you get you'll get closer to the uh, to the destination the first one the second one and then the final one where is the flag the checkered flag um, yeah that's how to do it speaking of clock on the map this is the distance shown here arrival time and all these uh, apparently this it won't show up the time the current time will only show up when you are not driving when you're not uh, when you haven't had a destination yet uh, you just long press on it and you'll see um, that you can change these like arrival time you can change whatever you want to be shown here you only you will only see three rows three uh, boxes three options in the menu you can replace these three with any of these on the left but you can't have them all on the screen so you can either choose a brake if you want. You can set the brake if you're a lorry driver. Driving, you see remaining driving time. You, you can you can put this on the screen. So actually you have four hours and it's counting down to zero. When that gets to zero, you need to uh, stop it for 45 minutes it says. But you can edit this at any time from that menu. Um, brake, daily driving and so on. You can always change alt altitude and all that. Uh, you can, if you want, you can select speed to be shown here instead the current speed or a speed limit so you make sure you, you're not driving over the speed uh, time left to the destination well that's shown already there's no point to, no point to have it twice arrival time is already set distance normally th these three are default distance time left and arrival time but you can choose any of these like i said by 
long pressing on this one on the bottom right corner and that's it you are good to go um, okay I hope I I have covered everything last thing is to show you how to power it on and off if you look above right here that's very intuitive actually it's easy you'll see this on and off button what you can do you have two options actually uh, well I recommend this one to be plugged in all the time in the car because uh, the battery doesn't last too long on these so you can if you choose this red button here that will only um, exit the navigation menu and it will go to the main menu of the sat nav if you want to power it off completely long press on this little button here and it's gonna ask you to shut down and put it on sleep I recommend shut it down all the time it will do it anyways in five seconds and that's it and the same to power it on long press on this button and it will start it's very easy well anyways when you plug it into your uh, car socket it will power up automatically that's not a problem thank you very much I hope that that has been useful to you if you have any other questions just don't hesitate to contact me I know it's not the most professional video I've ever made but I just wanted to I just wanted you to have a better view of what I'm talking about whilst I'm using one of the units that you've bought instead of writing down uh, thousands of uh, phrases and whatever that would never make sense unless you unless you see yourself how it's done thank you thank you for your purchase and I'm waiting for you to come back for more whenever you need